topic we cover today is principles of mental health nursing or psychiatric nursing so as you know the mental health nursing it is one of the core competency in the field of nursing and the psychiatric nurses are using a comprehensive and uh, holistic approach in patient care and if you come to this uh, principles of psychiatric nursing or mental health nursing which is based on uh, certain principles that the uh, every individual having a intrinsic dignity and value and they have certain potentiality and capabilities so based on that we had prepared or we had made certain principles and that is used worldwide in uh, psychiatric nursing so now we'll see one by one what are the important principles of psychiatric nursing or mental health nursing come to the first one accept the patient exactly as he is so here this principle says that be non judgmental and non punitive to the patient as an individual what are the symptoms because in the psychiatric setup you can see that the patient may be having a certain problem with their behavior so everything as an individual we have to accept him and we should not be like a, a non judgmental that means uh, the patient will be very dangerous i should not go to the patient side like that we should not think what are the symptoms or what are the behavior they are showing we have to accept exactly how the patient is come to the second one the self understanding is used as a therapeutic tool so here it is purely related to the nurses means first we have to go for self understanding so what is my capabilities or how i can uh, taking care of a patient how i can approach to the patient so that capability what is my limitation and what is my capabilities that should be understood so how i can understand or as a nurse or how the nurse can understand this one so they can uh, get help from their colleagues or from their superiors or if they have any issues that they can share with their peer group or with the uh, seniors and they can continuously attend the professional conferences related to this uh, self understanding so as a result of that one uh, they can understand their ca capabilities and how they can approach to a psychiatric patient come to the third one consistency it is used to contribute to patient's security so here the term consistency that means similar or that means similar staff has to take care of the patient if possible each shift the same staff has to take because the fear of unknown that produces anxiety in the patient that's why in each shift the similar staff or same staff has to be taking care of the patient because most of the psychiatric patient they may be having uh, psychotic features like hallucination delusion and they may not trust any people so we have to uh, maintain a consistency throughout the patient care come to the next one the reassurance to be given in an acceptable and realistic manner to the patient so whenever you support the patient so you have to give a an acceptable manner a patient may be having different types of behavior and each patient may be different from one another so you have to provide that uh, psych, uh, support psychological support in an acceptable manner come to the next one the patient behavior which is changed through emotional experience rather than rational interpretation so here any type of uh, interpretation if you go mainly you have to change the patient's behavior through emotional experiences try to understand the patient and emotionally we have to change patient's behavior most of the symptoms will be based on the emotional disturbances come to the next one avoid unnecessary increase in patient's anxiety so here any type of uh, what we can say patient's behavior whenever you are uh, talking to the patient we should not tell that uh, you are having such type of problem or you are having hallucination you are talking with some other people so patient symptom we should not focus so if you focus on these patient symptoms what happens patient's anxiety automatically it will be increasing come to the next one observe objectively to understand and interpret the patient's behavior so that means always we have to go for a close observation to the patient's symptoms because in psychiatry uh, patient symptom within a one day or within a few seconds we cannot identify patient symptom sometimes it may take a few days or few hours 
or few weeks, even for a few months to identify patient's symptoms exactly. That's why as a nurse, what we have to do, we have to go for a close observation to the symptoms of psychiatric patient. Come to the next principle, maintain realistic professional relationship. So this means that whenever you are uh, taking care of a patient, go for only a therapeutic relationship. Do, uh, do not maintain any social relationship or any type of intimate relationship with the psychiatric patient. Come to the ninth principle, the verbal and physical force must be avoided if possible. That means if you are, uh, you should not threaten the patient or any type of verbal force or any type of physical force if you use, what happens? The, it increases the patient's anxiety and the patient tension will be increased. So as a nurse, try to avoid or in a polite manner or respectively, you have to talk with the patient and should not increase or should not give any type of verbal forces or physical forces to the patient. We should not threaten them. If you are not doing your daily activities, I will lock you or I will, I will not give food to you like that. We should not threaten anything to the patient. Come to the next one, nursing care centered on patient as a person, not on a symptom. So whenever you are taking care of the patient, you have to consider him as an individual, not on the symptom. So if two patients are showing the same symptom, but they may be having different, uh, what we, meaning will be there. So same symptoms in two patients, if you observe, it will be having different meaning. So as an individual, you try to understand the reason behind their behavior and then give the nursing care to the patient. Come to the next one. Routine procedures explained at patient's level of understanding. So every individual having, even it is a psychiatric patient or everyone, they have the right to understand that what is the care we are giving. So the psychiatric patient, we can observe that they may be, their behavior may be changed or their level of understanding may be changed, but to their level of understanding or knowledge level, any procedure if you are giving to the patient, it may be related to the psychopharmacology or it may be related to the electroconvulsive therapy or any type of therapy we are giving to the patient at the patient's level of understanding clearly explained to them. Come to the last principle, many procedures which are modified, but the basic principles remain same. So anything you are doing to the patient, it may be the uh, administration of injection, or it may be related to the Riles tube, or it may be related to the electroconvulsive therapy, any procedure if you give to the patient, sometimes the technique may be modified, that depends on the patient's condition or the situation, the techniques may be modified, but the basic principle of all the procedure, which remains the same. So these are the various principles that we are using in the field of mental health nursing or psychiatric nursing setup. So that's for uh, today's class. This is Vishan signing off till we meet the next class. Thank you.